And you know, if red tide wasn't enough, there is now this massive seaweed bloom that is making its way towards the Gulf. Yeah, it could be one of the largest in history. Aaron Parsegian joins us with a look at what's causing it and how it could impact our beaches, Aaron. Yeah, right now this bloom is thousands of miles wide and can be seen from space. It's called sargassum. It's a naturally occurring brown seaweed that grows in the Atlantic Ocean and collects in the Caribbean Sea. Now you can see here some of the impacts in past years. This is from 2015 on the island of Guadalupe. You can see sign of that brown gunk that's really piling up on the coastline. The seaweed itself, though, actually provides habitat to a bunch of living things. But the problem is when it dies and decomposes by coastlines, it lowers the water quality, puts off a rotten smell, often hampering beach tourism. Now the sargasm this year is a concern because of the sheer amount and the fact that it's growing larger earlier. Here's a look at where it is, though. This is uh, our meteorologist, Grant Gilmer, patched together several satellite images from the University of South Florida Oceanography Lab. So you can see it's right here in the Caribbean Sea and kind of placed there. This will give you a better idea with this graphic, too. But I talked to the professor at USF who says this won't move like we are used to seeing with meteorologists when they're forecasting hurricanes. It's not going to be this big kind of bloom making its way all together. Bits and parts and chunks we found in places that slowly make their way over to areas of the Keys, Key West. We actually probably won't see any impact here in the Tampa Bay area because of the way the water moves. It follows the Gulf Stream pattern. So those chunks and pieces that break off will follow up here going up past Cuba and then making their way through the Keys and then around the east coast of Florida where we'll probably see the most impact from this. It's a natural plant. It's not an invasive species. So no matter how much sargassum we will land on the east coast beaches, uh, east coast of Florida, the west coast of Florida is largely spared every year. This year is no exception. And Professor Hu says this is something those east coast beaches are prepared to handle. You can see video here from years past where they've actually had to remove it before when it shows up to the beach in their area. So of course, we'll, something we'll watch to see how this continues to develop and how much actually ends up in Florida. In the studio, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.